Hi everyone, welcome to RC Model Mart. Let's see what we've got in store today. Hi everyone, another quick one uh, today. Just uh, another couple of items I'm going to cover off in, my in this video. The first one is a um, programming box for the ESC for the speed controller on the helicopter. So it's programmable speed controller that comes with the X360. Um, I need it higher voltage for my flight controller which is going to be the H1 light controller so I'll, I'll cover both these off today only in brief because we'll cover them during the build and the installation video but I'll just give you an idea and a look at what they're like and what they can do okay so programming box first and yep, obviously it's reasonably well packed hobby wing one this came from hobby king it's got the instruction manual with it and it's just a nice neat little little unit in there. Also comes with various cables and a USB cable. USB allows you to plug it in on the side in here and you can plug that in your PC and update the firmware on it. There's a bit of software available. It's all linked on Hobby King's website. Download the firmware, update it, keep it up to date. So I'll cover it all off in more detail in the build, but the reason I've got this is to increase the default voltage on the ESC for the X360 because the H1 flight controller, which I'll cover in a moment, needs a higher voltage to power it. So um, that's the plan. What this also lets you do is to do battery testing. So it's got um, a lead for up to an 8S battery there. Plug that in and it displays on the screen. Um, for the controls. On the other end we've got the ESC input. USB port for upgrading firmware. Uh, you can also control the ESC programming via your PC on the software that uses while it's plugged into the ESC port so you can in effect power it and control it through that for programming and upgrade the firmware on your ESCs. So not only upgrade the firmware on this but you can, you can do pass through and upgrade the firmware on your ESC. Um, and at the end we have power input you need to power it separately on the ESC itself. A neat little piece of kit. I'll plug a battery in and show you how it looks just for the balance part. Here we go, got a 6S battery plugged in. Hopefully you can see it on the screen and it runs through its total voltage and then the voltage for each cell so it just scrolls through voltage on each cells now I'm not sure it's that accurate you can see I've got a bit of the imbalance on this one so I need to check it out I'm going to check it with some others my battery charger gives different voltage readings on the same battery I haven't got around to putting a multimeter on yet to find out which is the most accurate that's just one of the uses for this as a battery, battery tester and we'll cover this in more detail when we actually program the speed controller on the X360. Okay so the next item is the H1 flight controller. It's got two components got the flight controller itself this is like your k-bar unit that you would use on your on your helicopter so it's got all the inputs here it's got USB-C for programming it's got the inputs for your your radio it does an S bus input left and right um, 
Swash servos, um, your front and back if you like, Swash servo, your tail servo and your ESC. So everything goes in into here. On the side it also has um, this little power connector. Connect this to the battery side of your ESC so that it can do voltage detection. So a bit like on a drone, um, it can read that and take action if you're running low on battery voltage as well. Do have to be careful on that because it can it can uh, read it a bit wrong if you're giving the helicopter some real power and it sucks the voltage down and you end up with a return to home. So the difference between this and a, a K bar other than I'm not going to say it's anywhere near as good in true pure helicopter terms but you control the real difference is this part and this is the GPS so the big difference is this is having the GPS unit that plugs into the controller and it has a boom mount on the back that goes on the boom of your heli that goes where your K-bar would go, this plugs in, goes on the tail boom. It's then a full 6-axis gyro with GPS. Um, so it gives you full control. It's programmable, the software that comes with it, and we'll see that when we do the build. But in effect, it makes a helicopter, if you wish, as easy to fly as the drone. Um, so it's flick a button to spin up and it rotates up to speed um, when it's up to speed you then move your throttle stick up and it takes off when you're above half throttle it takes off when you lose your stick back to central it just sits there and it's GPS locked so this thing um, very neat made by Flywing put links to this in the in the video description so you can throw it around like a, a drone basically it also allows you to flick a switch and it will do a nose in circle so if you're doing a point of interest say you had a camera on your drone on your helicopter do a circle it also do a figure of eight and then it also has a programmable Thing, so you can flisk a switch and it goes inverted but it's still in full GPS lock so you can go inverted at any height um, and it will stay there like a drone but upside down so pretty cool you can then reduce the amount of help it gives you and then also turn it off completely and go at normal 3D mode and fly your helicopter as if you've just got a K bar, but it's not as tunable as K bar. They're working on the software and it gets better all the time, but its software isn't isn't as good as K bar at this point. Um, but it has features that can get you out of a lot of trouble. So if you're learning to fly, uh, this little thing can get you out of the trouble. Controls everything. You don't need any setup on your transmitter either, so you set your transmitter up as if you're flying an aeroplane. This does all the rest. S bus it into here from your receiver. This does everything else via its software. And we'll see all that when you we do the build. So that's it for today. Links to all this in the bottom um, and all the prices and, and everything. Hope you enjoy this and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.